Yo, what up everyone? Amir Ahim here, owner of Rabman Snack, and getting into another unboxing video. This one is going to be on Kendrick Lamar's latest album, Mr. Morale and the Big Steppers. Hit me up on Instagram and TikTok at Rabbin and Snackin. Subscribe here, all that stuff. So this is obviously Kendrick's latest uh, album that he released. Purchased this on his website as soon as it was available. Just a box set. Um, they had a couple box sets. They had ones with white shirts and they had others with black shirts. This particular one has a black shirt inside. And uh, yeah, they also sold his CDs individually on his website or Interscope's website rather. So um, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and open this right now. So as you can see, it just comes in like a basic box exactly like the cover uh, of the album, which as you can see right here, front and center. Top right here, it says Mr. Morale and the Big Steppers. Boom, boom. This side, there's nothing. You got a little crease though, probably from shipping or whatever. On this side right here, you got a parental advisory, uh, explicit content label. And the top and the bottom both say Mr. Morale and the Big Steppers. Uh, and then the back is plain. So pretty minimal, uh, just the box, just, you know, cardboard it can obviously get dinged up as you can see on the side but nothing too fancy and then you can go ahead and pull it open so let's go ahead and pull it open and see what is inside okay as you can see i haven't opened this before so it opens up like this you got the shirt right here and then you got the cd so let me go ahead and open the shirt first and just show you all the shirt uh it looks like only a cd is in there so honestly, I'm not that, I, I didn't really care to buy this shirt. Uh, I just wanted the box set, so they got me with the shirt as well. Also, this retailed on the site for $35 before shipping and tax. Uh, since it has sold out though, the interesting thing is it, it never said how much it was limited to, so I don't know if there's a thousand, I don't know if there's 5,000, 10,000, whether it's some other number, I have no idea. Uh, I'm sure, you know, maybe it will get revealed, but there's also no numbering on the packaging saying like what number this is. So don't know how many there are, but on his site, they are sold out uh, for the black and the white shirts uh, sets. So anyways, here we go. Mr. Morale and the Big Steppers. Um, yeah. Black shirt, nothing on the back. On the front, just it's super, super, super plain. I mean, you can make this at your house if you wanted to. Right here, it just says M for medium, probably on a Gildan style shirt or AAA or something like that. Who knows? Mr. Morale and the Big Steppers, there you have it, super plain. Uh, honestly, I probably won't even wear this. I'm just gonna put this back in the box. Uh, and then next up in this set, we have the CD. Uh, nothing else is in the box, you probably can't see, but Nothing else in the box. To my knowledge, it doesn't look like there's anything fancy or cryptic or anything like that. I know a lot of people like to show the cryptic stuff about Kendrick Lamar. Anyways, let's go ahead and open this and see the artworks. Let's just, boom, a little plastic action. Get out of here. Some more plastic action. Let's just go. And then, boom. So, get out of here. Get out of the shot. All right. So, we have, once again, album cover. Boom, boom, boom. And then we got the spine right here, Kendrick Lamar, Mr. Morale, and the Big Steppers. The back right there, pretty cool back. The back doesn't say anything about the track list. You do actually do see a nice little stamp here that says Dismade in Mexico. Kind of messes with the photo a little bit, actually. It's pretty funny. Uh, and then let's go ahead and see the CD art. CD art also extremely plain. Mr. Morale and the Big Steppers right there. Boom, boom, boom. Let's go ahead and open this up. Let's be a little, uh, there we go. Okay, so you got the crown that is on his head uh, from the cover. Pretty cool, I like that. And now let's go ahead and see the booklet. Nice, it does feel thick paws. The reason why I'm happy about that is because, you know, we get some freaking credits for once. I'm just so tired of all these new albums not having credits or shout outs or anything like that, but Okay, so once again, you get the, the crown. Okay, you get, okay, so you're just getting, you know, your standard stuff, you know, your credits, who's it written by, production, et cetera. Um, you get the narrator, et cetera, blah, 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 blah. 
And then, okay, so you're getting the whole thing for, for all the tracks. Uh, and then it has sample credits, which is awesome. So I'm not gonna go ahead and bore you all with that, but let's see if we get any photos in here. This is my first time seeing this. Okay, so you get a photo in the middle, which is pretty dope. Uh, and what's awesome is, as you can see here, this is one thing I like. Right here we have Purple Hearts, which is the last song of um, the first part of the album. The last song of the first part of the album is Purple Hearts, and it's track nine. Then you have this little uh, part right here of Kendrick. You get this little photo right here, and then there you go. The next part of the album starts off with Count Me Out, as you can see, track one. Boom, 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 boom. We're gonna go. And then Mirror is the last song of the album. Then we got Executive, produced by Oklahoma, album producer Soundwave, et cetera, et cetera. So the A&R for uh, PG Lang is Kevin Rodriguez. And then you get all that stuff. And the back here is just brown. So one thing that I actually do have like a slight gripe with on this, uh, I'm not gonna talk about the album, but I mean on this, is that we actually don't have two discs. I think that's a little lazy on Interscope. I would have actually, I mean, maybe I'm just too much of a nerd for my own good, but I would prefer if Interscope and Kendrick actually went ahead and put this on two discs, charge a couple more bucks, just so it can go with the whole this one, this two thing, uh, and kind of go with the theme of his own album. I think that's kind of cheap, especially being one of the, you know, premier artists in hip hop today. I think that's kind of a cheap move. That's just me though. You know, I'm kind of like a nut, so say what you will that's just my opinion anyways though the packaging is cool um nothing crazy it can get dinged up so i'm happy it wasn't expensive um but yeah what do y'all think and and also i know a lot of people have asked me about my thoughts on the album i have not released a review i've been on vacation the past couple weeks and uh, I've, I've listened to it a bit and uh, it's definitely not my favorite and it's definitely not my least favorite so i'll leave you with that maybe i'll do a review still but anyways, let me know what y'all think about this. If you have any questions, anything that I may have missed from the packaging, let me know. I'll go ahead and answer them. Hit me up on Instagram and TikTok at Rappin' and Snackin'. And uh, peace, y'all. Appreciate y'all as always. I'm out of here.